Autopilot Overview, Part 1. The Piper Aerostar 600 has what is called a Centurion 4 autopilot. This autopilot system primarily uses the NSD 360 and the Horizon display in the Aerostar. Other combinations can be seen on other aircraft. There is a lot more to cover in this video compared to the previous video, so buckle up and use the chapter breaks to help you find what you're looking for. Okay, let's begin by breaking everything down into small chunks and looking at each item in turn. Then we will circle back around and go into the techniques you'll need to use these controls to their fullest. So, let's start with the most obvious buttons and switches and go from there. The Aerostar Autopilot starts with the on-off switch, located up near the fuel gauges. This switch basically applies power to the AFCS system. Since no warm-up is required, the system is ready for immediate use, provided the horizon has stabilized and the DG or compass system is in operation. Next, we have the Autopilot Programmer that sits down below the engine control levers on the center pedestal. This is how you control all the functions of the autopilot, and it also doubles as a master enunciator to indicate what systems are active at any given time. For instance, when the heading hold is active, the heading button will be illuminated. In normal operation, active modes are brightly illuminated, and inactive modes are dimly illuminated. The only button that's different here is the autopilot on-off button, where one or the other is brightly illuminated, depending on the autopilot status. Overall lighting intensity of the enunciator is electronically controlled by sensing the voltage being applied to other aircraft lights in the same area as the programmer, and electronically matching the level for night operations. Mode and switch functions. Test switch. Let's start with the test switch, the test switch makes all buttons on the autopilot illuminate at full brightness, except the autopilot on-off button. In addition, it tests an attitude warning circuit normally active only when the GS mode is engaged. While the test switch is depressed, the pitch command disc should be rotated to positions up and down from the level flight index. When the pitch command disc is set for up, the attitude lamp will be extinguished. When the pitch command disc is down, the attitude lamp will flash on and off. Autopilot on-off switch. This is used, obviously, to engage and disengage the autopilot. When doing so in the Aerostar, the lateral mode and the pitch mode remain as programmed. When turning the autopilot off, the modes continue to remain as programmed and the servos are disengaged. Lateral modes. Now let's look at these controls individually, starting with the heading mode. This mode is the most basic of the lateral modes to understand. It is automatically activated when the system is turned on. While this mode is active, the autopilot will turn the shortest direction and fly the selected heading on the compass system. Banks in the heading mode do not exceed 20 degrees. The nav mode is normally used for cross-country navigation. When the nav mode is active, the system combines basic course direction data from the course selector and left-right needle information to intercept and track selected VOR radials. After interception, automatic crosswind compensation and bank limiting circuits are activated for tracking accuracy and passenger comfort. The APPR, or Approach Mode, is used for VOR and localizer approaches. When the Approach Mode is active, the system combines basic course correction data from the course selector and left-right needle information to intercept and track selected VOR and localizer courses. The Approach Mode is similar to the NAV Mode, except it is a far tighter and more responsive tracking mode designed for the tight tolerances of an IFR approach. The REV mode, or reverse mode, is used for inbound localizer back courses and outbound legs of VOR and localizer back courses. When the REV mode is active, the system will automatically fly the tail of the autopilot radio course arrow 
and automatically compensate for reverse needle sensing. An interesting point is that when flying outbound using the REV mode, there is a mechanical inversion of the display and normal visual sensing of turn towards the needle for on course is provided. A good rule of thumb to remember is that in the REV mode, the system will fly whatever radio situation is selected backwards. This feature greatly simplifies approach work by requiring that only the inbound localizer front course or the inbound VOR course be selected on the DG or compass system. With this accomplished, the actual direction to be flown during each phase of the approach is directed simply by pressing either the approach or rev mode buttons on the programmer. Also, the Sentry 4 incorporates a selected angle intercept feature that enables the pilot to enjoy unlimited freedom in choosing an intercept angle to a particular course. This feature is extremely useful when being vectored to a final approach course. The selected angle intercept may be used whenever the left-right deviation needle exceeds one-half scale. The feature is activated by simultaneously pressing the Heading and Approach button on the programmer. The approach course is selected using the course selector. As the selected course is neared, the system will recognize that the deviation indicator on the CDI has reached one-half scale and will automatically switch into the approach mode, as indicated by extinguishing the heading mode, and complete the desired maneuver. The feature may be used also for intercept of any course or radial, except in REV mode, and after interception, NAV may be selected for cross-country use. Pitch modes The ATT, or attitude mode, is used when the pitch attitude of the aircraft is to be controlled by the pitch command knob, located on the extreme right of the programmer. Pressing the Attitude button will disengage other pitch modes and permit selection of the aircraft pitch attitude by rotating the pitch command knob until the desired pitch attitude is obtained. Automatic pitch synchronization to aircraft altitude will occur when attitude is selected. The pitch knob is a command device. Its position in relation to the center index mark is directly related to an aircraft pitch attitude relative to level flight. In addition to manual attitude selection by the pilot, the system will automatically recycle to the ATT mode under any of the following circumstances. 1. Turning the system on. 2. Pressing pitch sync button on the wheel. And 3. Engaging the autopilot with AP on off switch. Manual selection of the attitude mode from other pitch modes will cause momentary autopilot disengagement while automatic pitch synchronization occurs. The attitude button has special circuitry to cause it to flash on and off under certain conditions when the test button is pressed and when the glide slope is coupled. The ALT or altitude mode button is used to activate the altitude hold feature. Pressing this will cause the system to maintain your current altitude at the moment of the button press. This system is capable of maintaining the altitude through a broad range of power, speed and configuration changes. However, when operating in ALT mode at reduced power and speed, it is suggested that the pilot carefully monitor the barometric altimeter. The autopilot is designed to make smooth transitions and gently return to the chosen altitude in turbulence, However, gusts exceeding 300 feet vertical displacement may cause shifting of altitude reference and the autopilot may not fully return to the selected altitude. The glide slope button serves as an enunciator for the glide slope coupler and is a means for the pilot to manually arm the glide slope coupler under certain circumstances. Glide slope coupling is accomplished automatically in the system if certain logic elements occur in the proper sequence. If they are not correct, arming and subsequent coupling will not occur. The go-around mode is used to provide a pre-selected climb command to the autopilot. Pressing the GA button causes the aircraft to assume a present climb angle. In multi-engined aircraft, the climb angle selected 
is the angle which gives a single engine best rate of climb with one engine at zero thrust. This may result in somewhat shallow deck angles and high climb speeds with both engines operating. In single-engined aircraft, go-around angles are set to provide comfortable climbs without excessive steepness. Should conditions exist that make steeper climbs desirable, the attitude button or pitch sync button may be pressed and desired climb angle selected. The go-around mode may be used for cruise climbs if desired. The pitch command knob is located at the extreme right end of the programmer. The knob may be moved manually in the attitude mode to provide command attitudes. In addition, it is motor-driven to provide pitch synchronization when required. Trim systems. There are two basic types of trim systems used with the Sentry 4. One, push-button automatic trim. Two, command automatic trim. The Aerostar has command automatic trim. This system is easily identified by the switch installed in the left of the pilot's control yoke. Here we end part one of the autopilot overview. In the next video, we will look at how the autopilot interfaces with various gauges in front of us. And finally, we will do some demonstrations to show how these controls can be used to their fullest.